Good morning. Time for book club. I'll start with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this day. We're thankful for this week that we've had. We're thankful that it's Friday and that it's almost the weekend. And we're thankful for the times that we have to rest from our weekly labors. And to honor Thee, we are thankful for your many blessings upon us. And we pray that this weekend we can get the things done that we need to, that we can prepare for the Sabbath, and that we can enjoy a peaceful day of thinking of Thee. We're thankful for uh, our big goals, and we pray that Thou help us to make them happen, and that we can trust in Thee to provide miracles for um, all the work that we're doing. We're thankful for each other. We pray that we can reach out to one another and work together. We're thankful for thy spirit. We pray that we can have have it with us as we read, and that we will we will be able to apply it to our lives. And we pray that thou help us, Jessica, that she can get home in safety. And we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. We're on page 174 on the Big Rock Breakdown. Let me start the timer, though. Okay. All right. Big Rock Breakdown. For your big rocks, we're planning, or we're going to break it down to ensure your success in the core pillars of your life. The four pillars will include your business and purpose, health and fitness, spirituality, and relationships. For each of the four pillars, we will identify core outcome. The core outcome is the end result you're looking to achieve for that pillar in life during the next 90 days. It is deeply connected to the vision you set earlier. Number two is identify core process. Every outcome has a process associated with it that is the keystone action designed, or sorry, the keystone action step designed to ensure the outcome is a success or has a high probability of achievement and follow-through. Identify 1% process. We further break down the core. Oh, sorry. We further break down the core process using the 1% rule, a measurable daily way of moving forward. This is designed to simplify the game and give you clarity every day. Below, we'll look at examples for the four pillars of life. <coughs> Excuse me. Business and purpose, core outcome. My core outcome is to generate $35,000 during the next 90 days. Core process, my core process is reaching out to 2,500 leads during the next 90 days. The 1% process, my 1% process is to generate 27 prospect calls every single day. Health and fitness, core outcome. My core outcome is to complete the Spartan Beast in 90 days. Core process, my core process is three gym workouts a week and two long hikes. The 1% process, my 1% process is daily activity and hitting my nutritional requirements 85% of the time. Spirituality, core outcome. My core outcome is to create more inner peace and reduce the stress in my life. Core process, my core process is to wake up 15 minutes earlier to allow the time. The 1% process. My 1% process is a daily meditation for a minimum of 7 minutes. Relationships. Core outcome. My core outcome is strengthening the connection in my marriage in the next 90 days. Core process. My core process is creating 6 date night experiences and 1 big trip experience. The 1% process. My 1% process is to encourage my partner with creative appreciation every day. These big rock examples are designed to help you get clear and drill down on the outcome, the process, and the 1% process. With this process, there is no room left for uncertainty. Instead, there are deep levels of clarity as we continue to apply the 1% rule to your dreams and outcomes. Before moving on, you're going to take the time to identify each of your big rocks, including the core outcome, core process, and 1% process. <clears throat> Do this now before reading further, or else you'll forget or miss a crucial part of the experience. So everyone commit. I'm going to commit to do it, but we're going to keep reading. We're going to be rebellious. 
Now, to be clear, you will need to do more tests than only the 1% process. However, the purpose of this process is to identify the non-negotiable focus you must have every day before moving on to the other tests. Think of it this way. The 1% process is designed to be the straightest path to your outcome. Many times, it can also be the most difficult and the one where you experience more resistance, which is a great thing. We identify and tackle these first as they not only pave the straightest path to your outcome, they create a domino effect where the rest of the work becomes easier. I can think right now of like my main, so I feel like that's like my main big rock for each one. Like um, for my relationships, it would be like my 10 minutes with my kids and like spouse time. And then for our jobs, it's like, I feel like for me, it's two, like IPA and um, like three asks and then meeting with leaders. So it's cool that my brain's already thinking. I'm excited right now. Then we build our days around this process um, and stack in the other objectives, which we'll detail below. <clears throat> Weekly rocks and task dump. We're making progress, baby. I feel it, you feel it, everyone feels it. Cue scene from old school where Will Ferrell's character says, everybody's doing it. You know, this, this actually goes really well with momentum movement because that's like in the PDF, I think. Like Brooke kind of did this with like, Figure out your big rocks kind of thing. I don't know if she called it big rocks, but the four areas of your life, like it's very similar. Now that we have our big rocks, we're in a great place and gaining more momentum. Next up, we're going to go through a powerful process of creating bandwidth, increasing your ability to step into your big rocks with focus and clarity. For each of your big rocks, you're going to make a list of everything that you believe needs to be done to complete the outcome. Don't overthink it. Simply write them down. Using the business purpose outcome, here's what that looks like. Core outcome. My core outcome is to generate 35000 during the next 90 days. The initiative steps and tasks associated with the above are hire PT admin, launch referral campaign, increase prices, create autoresponder, schedule a client appreciation day, ask for referrals, continue over delivering and fulfilling, create calendar for prospect calls, schedule sales calls, make prospecting a priority, obtain new leads from the company, and set up a new website. Note, again, we have already identified the 1% process, but we now make a list of everything else we believe will be associated with this objective during the next 90 days. Don't move on to the next step until you have the smallest of tasks figured out. This is serious clarity right here. This is serious clarity. It's like shining the light on every single little thing we need to know. <laughs> Step one, deletion. Look at everything you wrote down and delete what doesn't serve your big rock. There's always a handful of activities we simply need to delete. And here's your chance. Step two, automation. Identify which things on your list can be automated. What are you doing right now that can be done using software or systems? Step three, delegation. What initiatives, tasks, or projects are important yet can be delegated? Whether or not you have a team, we now have 5 billion people online. Finding cheap resources to clear things off your plate is easy. Identify what can be delegated right now. Step 4. Weekly rocks. If you've done the above correctly, you should be left with the core essentials. This is the high-level, zone-of-genius type work only you can do. If that's not the case and you still have fluff here, go back through steps 1, 2, and 3 one more time. Now you're going to look at what's left and rank them in order of importance, with 1 being the highest and 3 being the lowest. Work your way down. You may have multiple ones, and that's totally fine. Now that you've achieved this rare clarity, we'll continue the process of reverse engineering your success, leaving no details out. You'll never be the same after executing and seeing the magic of this process. <laughs> Big rocks to 12 weeks. At this point, you should be feeling clear and inspired. You should know what you want and why you want it. You should know how to measure your success and what you have to do every day to make it a reality. Congratulations, you now have massive clarity. Not only do you have clarity, you have certainty. The certainty of how to get there. You no longer have to sit on the sidelines waiting, pondering, or analyzing. In other words, you've got a game plan. 
you've got a strategic blueprint to close the gap, maybe for the first time in your life. Don't take this lightly. It's a huge deal. And if you've done all the exercises up to this point, you're in the 2% of people who live an intentional life. These big rocks will be your guiding force for the next 12 weeks or 90 days. We work in 90-day increments because it's enough time to accomplish an incredible amount of results, yet short enough to provide high levels of urgency. Once you've identified the big rocks, your vision will fade into the background. <clears throat> no, you won't forget about it. There are tools designed for you to reaffirm your vision daily, but you'll bring your big rocks into what we call sniper level focus, ensuring your follow through happens every single day. Remember, you don't have to hit a home run every single day. You simply have to get in the game. It's a square. Whether you hit a single, get walked, or steal a base, what matters is you're in the game and growing. If you go one for five, that's perfect and should be celebrated. Little hinges swing big doors, and all your efforts will pay off, but you've got to stay consistent. Now that we have your big rocks, we're going to create your first week of targets. Separating the 90 days into 12 weeks allows us to bring our focus down to a closer level, the six inches in front of our faces. For example, let's take the big rock from before in from before in business, business and purpose, core outcome. Um, so it's the same ones: the thirty-five thousand dollars, twenty-five hundred leads, twenty-seven prospect calls every day. Okay, I guess we're stopping that. <laughs> um, so give me more examples. There's still a few more pages of that, and then the next one is roadblock. Ooh, be good. Thanks, April. Have a good Friday. Talk to you later.